yeah hi uh, so uh, in this video we are going to see about uh, the simple application uh, this is the application uh, that's what it's task manager uh, so I'm just going to create one task and it complete it and we are, are going to add some few uh, attachment into to the uh, application so these are the, those things we are going to do in M MVI uh, clean code architecture and in jetpack compose okay so uh, let's start the application uh, as soon as possible let's Intro studio okay I uh, already I just connected my mobile over here uh, then I created the base application so you can see here uh, the packages so I just implemented so this is for room database we are going to use room database to store and get rid of the data and this is for this sorry this is for uh, room this is I uh, we are going to use navigation compose and this uh, and constraint layout also in compose constraint compose and this is for room database this is for hilt and this is for uh, image of library in um, jetpack compose okay so this is we we, we didn't use kapt we are going to use ksp so in this time so this is a newly new one in kotlin uh, so we are going to change this one so before uh, if you if you if you guys are adding the library like this in your build griddle so i in kotlin we have a version catalog so in this version catalog we need to add uh, the versions first in here they will separate like versions and libraries and this one so based on this name only we can add the add those things in here if you directly add the name in your build griddle it will give an error okay then uh, uh, in my version so i am going to use hilt so i added the hilt class path over here and the ksps plugin over here so in the both things i need to add here I need to add the plugin in this uh, module griddle also. So once the added the module griddle, I change my uh, this version is 17. Then uh, compose extension version is 12. So this is the mustard one. So this 12 because of this KPS version. Okay. So this Kotlin, my Kotlin version is this one. So uh, there is a compatibility we need. We can check from the um, website. So you can you can also check your site based on your uh, Kotlin version or which version you can add it. So my version is this one. So based on that I added 5.1.5.12. Okay. So this is what is a base one. So after that uh, one cl application class I created. So this is uh, it's a simple if we are using Hilt we need one application class. So you can add it the base things and you can uh, you need to add the application class in your manifest. Okay. So this is the base base one. So everything is done. So we are going to create a uh, step by step each process okay so let me uh, start the application by creating from the splash plan the navigation so first we will start with the navigation uh, so first we will split the packages uh, actually how we want to do, do the packages uh, in this one so uh, here they have they already have domain layer uh, they already uh, don't have nothing so we need to create first view we need to create presentation layer presentation then once after presentation domain and uh, data domain data okay so uh, in uh, first we will work on the presentation layer then we will go to the other parts so if the presentation layer is inside presentation layer i am going to add da also data injection uh, into the presentation layer and UI okay so in the UI uh, we need to I'm going to split it up to three parts activity view model screens and one more thing you can add as a common one common so inside common we are going to mostly if you see uh, if you see the layout uh, mostly we are going to use dialog boxes so I'm going to add dialog as a inside the common dialog and after finishing the dialog I'll add one more thing for elements 
custom elements okay. elements okay so these are the, our uh, packages so another two thing is the state and event so we need to create state and event also so the thing is in uh, mvvm we will directly implement the remember state into the composable but here uh, in mvy mostly uh, we are going to use event and state as a separate uh, class so uh, i'll let you know how to do that so uh, just add one event and state so this is about big size of application so this is small so we don't want to big build like this like of packages but first showing this i am just creating okay okay first okay so um we'll start with the screen uh, inside screen i'll create first navigation navigation so navigation class uh, so in the navigation class i'm going to create one object Navigation. So in this navigation, I'm going to give all the routes. Okay. Splash screen first of all. Then. So only two screens we are having so we added home screen and this one so once i added this one we'll uh, i'll just create one screen so the screen is navigation screen or onboarding screen we can have it Uh, this will have the have all the screens but uh, leave it i can create over here onboarding so because this is in the same face right so we can add it in uh, here at at composable okay so this is what uh, it will be i'll just stop the root one and then we'll run later okay so once we got this one inside this we need a well, nav controller nav controller is equal to remember state remember remember now controller then we started with nav host now host nav controller is nav controller then there is no graphics we are going to start with start destination start destination is navigation dot splash screen okay Possible the root is navigation dot splash screen. Then another one is navigation dot home screen. Okay, home screen. So both things are done. Uh, once done with both screens, we I'll just go to go and create a splash screen. screen uh, it's a file only splash screen because it's a compose file we are going to create everything in a compose file only okay splash screen okay 
powerful okay this splash screen we need to give here inside splash screen we need to pause now controller okay add parameter to the splash screen so this nav controller we use we use to transfer the nav controller to any other screens okay so inside nav controller i'm just going to add on column okay okay column one and then modifier modifier Size uh, background colors. So first we will add all the colors and themes from here. We need to have some colors. So actually, uh, I have a predefined colors for this application. So I'll just copy and paste it from here. We don't want to waste time on these colors. And one more thing. Um, primary light color okay primary light color then after primary light color horizontal alignment alignment center horizontal and vertical arrangement arrangement center okay arrangement center okay so now this will be i think we can see in the live app if it is running i'll just run the application yeah here our application is running started running uh, so we need to uh, change this one here in activity where is our activity so in our activity uh, instead of this this one we need to create onboarding screen which we created in for in the navigation so this one only onboarding okay let's see this one again it will run again okay screen is full of light so we i we need to i need to add one more thing um, we need to add a font over here so in the type field it's a typography So this font we can use it here instead of default. Okay. Normal. Okay. This is fine. Um, let's go to the splash screen and we can start editing. Uh, we'll add image. Okay. Paint. So. resource it needs to come paint the resource the id is r dot travel so actually we don't have any image right now i'll just add from the gallery travel bubbles Just added that one. Okay. Dot 3M logo. So this is 
the one then the content should be logo image then we need to add a modifier is 200 dot bp okay actually we need to add that again put size and bp also i'll just stop the process because of this i think it is taking so much time okay so shadow 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 is so this shadow will work uh, differently based on the elevation shape is circular shape we are going to circular shape okay circular shape okay once uh, now we have our splash screen how we are seeing in the ui so once it is added we need to add some one handler to handle this one Once finished, we'll run and check. Navi controller dot navigate to our navigation dot home screen. Okay, from this place after 300 means with uh, three seconds, it will navigate to the home screen. Okay, now we are good with splash screen. Just we'll go to uh, we'll create one more screen called home screen. file home screen we are going to divide the home screen so home screen before home screen uh, we just need to create uh, i'll just add we'll just create home screen then we'll talk about the scenarios So we have uh, we just created a home screen right so in this home screen uh, we need a home screen view model so first we will create view model and we need a state and event face okay so first we will create an view model uh, so instead of home screen view model we can give us main activity view model because our activity is right okay main activity view model okay so this one extends view model extends view model so each view model need to have filled view model extension uh, annotation on clear function okay so we have a view model now so instead uh, then after finishing view model we will create a event so what are the events we are going to handle in our application so once we know that one it will be easy for us to do that so we'll just create one event over here so event is the interface but it's a sealed interface uh, home UI events okay once we created a interface it should be a sealed sealed interface in the sealed interface we have some objects for toggle dialog okay so toggle dialog is for opening and closing the dialog i'm just copying a lot of times then second object uh, second we have classes in the class we have add task okay. because it have a parameter so we have a module uh, in the mo in the data we'll just create a model so we have to give the module over here 
okay so inside here we'll create a model in the model uh, it's a data class task okay, tasks okay data class okay we'll add the parameter uh, okay task id Task name string task details task details and task end date task uh, files files this is a uh, Double list of string okay because we are going to add files double list of okay okay I think it's good so this task we can add it in here now task okay so this is add task class so once we done with our task then same for complete task completed task but we are going to pass id of the index of the task okay it's a task index okay so uh, then uh, once it is done uh, another one also we are going to create class this is for open task dialog open task dialog in this tasks will come okay because for opening the task we have one Thing. then this one is close task dialog okay so these are the events we are having in our home screen another one is we have a state next one is so we are going to create a state right now same class it's a data class but data class UI state okay inside state val first of all loading behavior is equal to false then show dialog show dialog then open task dialog selected task this is selected tasks okay it may be null also because we don't want to pass this one every time task list the task list is mutable mutable list of tasks okay mutable list and we have another one list completed task list okay so we have two things one is boolean another one boolean another one one is show error or error if any errors in the thing and error message okay So these are the things uh, it's a U home ui state okay so these two things we are going to implement now in a view model we just build our we'll just build our view model first then we will add the view we need to create a view model in a navigation and we need to pass that as argument to the home screen then we can process the whole ui screen in the home okay let's do it that one uh, in home screen we'll just add UI state notable state flow we are going to create on state flow okay notable
simple state flow. Home UI state. Okay. So then for this one, we are going to create state. Home UI state is equal to underscore state as, as state flow. Okay state flow now we have this one and we need to create one functions also one function for one new new event in this we are getting event with home new events okay in this we will just add when case when event once we added that it will ask for implementing all the all this one so we added the okay so whenever the actions hitting we'll process the process here so we'll just build the home screen right now once we build the home screen we can process everything step by step okay okay so home screen we will just add the home screen in the navigation add the navigation here okay home screen inside home screen we need to pass nav controller as well as we need to pass that view model also so view model we need to start the view model in here actually we need we don't want to start the view model here we need to add the view model here in home screen we'll navigate to the home screen okay is it onboarding home screen okay here only we need to create uh, view model by Activity view model, right? Uh, yeah, right. So this one we don't need. We'll create this one. Okay. So this view model will I will pass here and create parameter. Then we'll go to the navigation. We we'll pass this one actually here. Then add home screen as a parameter. Home screen parameter. Okay. So in the home screen we have a two navigations. So after this one. We are going to build all the um, what is that all of our uh, list with the logo toolbar toolbar icon and uh, add task create task in the single screen only but we are going to add a few navigations also okay so we'll start building this one so we have some ui elements custom elements all those things so first we need to take the home states separate from here home UI state okay home UI state by sorry this will main view model main view model dot home UI state dot collect as state okay we are going to take this one as state so appropriate value okay so then we are going to use constraint layout constraint layout uh, okay once constraint layout is built this is the base parent layout for the whole home screen modifier 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 dot fill max size background is white background is white I think once the background is done I will just add the constraints so we have a toolbar so we will add a toolbar constraint 
then we have a logo box so we i'll add a logo box constraint and my stocks text my task lazy column lazy column then completed task list completed task lazy column then fab we have add fab okay so these are all create reference okay So uh, we have those things once we okay. Once you have that, I'll add one box. Box with modifier dot. not fill max with fill max with then height is 70 dot dp as the height is 70 dot dp background color is primary So constraint as this constraint is toolbar okay so once it is stop dot we need to parent dot dot right start dot we need to parent dot start same thing end so these are all constraint as like our xmls okay so the thing is instead of id we need to create reference over here okay that is the only thing so with this equal to dimension dot fill constraint so whenever we are giving something means we need to give this one instead of this fill with the, um, because this will override by this one only so if we didn't give this one it will give give issues to us okay so we'll just add first of all we'll just add little mm, preview i will just add one preview over here an image box okay it's taking so So inject constructor need to add it here in the view model then in activity where is the activity in the activity android entry point we need to give okay so these things are uh, necessary when we are working with hilt okay so we don't want any preview right now I'll the preview So in the image, painter resource r dot drawable dot 
So actually this R is not implemented, I think, yeah. So this is another issue. So this profile icon. So it is also having a modifier. Modifier. Modifier dot size fill max size. So then good and next box we are going to this is for logo box inside this box we are going to have logo actually okay so this is let us I'll just stop this one it's taking so much time only we'll run and set later okay modifier Size, size should be one thirty dot BP. Okay, one thirty dot BP. One of the size is good. Padding. Fifteen dot BP. Then. Transparent, okay. Background is transparent, and then um, constraint. Constraint as logo box. Logo box. So there is no constraint. We don't have any constraints, and image. So image same thing. Shadow. So shadow should be clip is equal to true elevation. Circle shape, okay. What is this? Okay, so also king spot color is equal to we have one color called shadow color in our colors, in which means I added a custom shadow color, custom color, okay. So this color, okay. So now we added the logo as like you can see it here in this one. You see it here, right? So like this, we are added. Oh, sorry, this should be like painter. Painter. Once the painter is good. Okay. So this is a home screen. Uh, actually, the top one, the logo, we added. Then we need to add one uh, task name text. Next, so import first uh, and index compose UI input pointer text only. This one, okay. Text is equal to 
my tasks okay font family will just add will just add the font family font family itim font which font this font only we added this custom font right so this is the font we are going to use font size so I already checked all those things that's why I'm adding uh, this one so I already finished the project and this is for your uh, so I already, yes. that's why I know everything perfectly for when you are doing you just modify based on your okay modify dot fill max with the okay max uh, with dot size Padding horizontal there is a horizontal item horizontal is twenty dot dp constrain as my task text link to that one logo box that bottom okay this is the constraint as then once the text is done we are going to add lazy column lazy column is like a relative layout lazy column with with constraint as so this constraint is my task lazy column constraint okay so once the my task lazy column constraint is good we can add that so this top dot link to Task dot bottom okay start parent dot start okay end parent dot end okay then uh, we just need to repeat the same thing because we have a another one right after that we'll add the so this text will be completed task completed task text this should be completed task lazy right so this should be i need to add it over here so this is completed task okay so now it will be coming like the step it's like a column layout so once it is added, I need to add here bottom dot link to complete task test dot top. Okay. Then we'll add the width dimension dot fill constraint height is equal to dimension dot fill constraint okay so these two things for this one then um, here this top to logo box bottom this is not logo box bottom actually this is my task lazy column bottom with some margin is equal to 10 dot dp okay So then this bottom should be bottom should be this completed tasks bottom top okay but there is no margin needed because we'll add the margin in the bottom so this is completed task test bottom with margin is equal to 10.dp okay 
this is good and this is parent and with these are all the same for both okay width and height width and height link to parent dot bottom okay so now the column is ready so inside column we need to add some items okay so inside column we need to add items so in those items we need to create separate separate components so another thing we need to add a fab right fab item fab this constraint layout inside constraint layout only fab floating action button floating action button so click action also we have okay so in this one except uh, after this one container color is equal to container color is primary color content color is primary light color actually container means that circle one content means inside item okay shape is circle shape okay then modifier dot constrain as add fab so this fab to the end dot link to parent dot end margin is equal to dp So the same thing for bottom, okay. Bottom, bottom, not parent. So inside you need to add icon. So icon means um, icon is kind of image view only, but we can show only icon with image vectors. So vectors we have a material three dependency, so we can add in, um, icons directly. Icons. So in this icon, filled dot add. Okay. Okay. I think it's good. So now we have a fab also. We just will run once and we'll check this one. Then uh, it will be good. Okay. I'll, I'm just running the application so uh, now it is running uh, okay actually you can see right uh, here uh, so the device is as well as what how we expected this one so there is no problem uh, in this I think this task should come down a little bit uh, we have where is that dimensions okay height is fill height not this one fill not fill constraint percentage percentage 0.2 f this is the screen percentage in which screen percentage it will be showing okay so now it will rebuild again i think yeah you can see it now right splash screen and it is coming down okay so the task item completed item everything will be added in the next video okay thank you